Hello there, welcome back to 10 Minutes of Hiding Wisdom with your host Manal Bukhari who is bringing you all the jo- juicy gossip regarding how to get you that dream job that you've always wanted. Today I bring you someone who, is, who has vast experience in corporate strategy, market expansion, client acquisition and revenue growth. Before this he spent more than 6 years in Singapore and Malaysia helping companies acquire the best talent for their company to grow and pro- be productive. Well, so he would definitely know what's going on in the market and how to get you that dream job that you've always wanted. I would like to welcome Jerry today. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Minal, for inviting me. Um, And, uh, you know, hello, everyone, uh, to, um, you know, to all of your uh, listeners. (laughs) Of course. So, Jerry, how's life during the pandemic? How has your situation been? Yeah, it uh, it's it's definitely tough, and I think tough is an understatement, um, you know, of of what, and I think most of the individuals have experienced. Um, you know, I have moved to the states, uh, you know, to pursue my studies, uh, for my MBA and uh, another master's at Halt. Wow. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, I didn't really prepare for uh, you know for the pandemic. So when I was doing my checklist. <laughs> on the things that I need to prepare for, uh, you know, definitely, you know, this situation is, is not in that. Uh, but yeah, so yeah. it has been, you know, uh, a tough um, a year, um, you know, for, for, for me uh, with the family here uh, in the States um, and obviously with, uh, you know, the individuals uh, that has been affected. Um, in- yeah. That's very true. You know how they say that life happens to life happens when you're busy planning i think this was something that no one of us took in, into account yeah and it's just like it just happened but then again i think most of us have adapted um so i guess it's just going with the flow and yeah. just being prepared for whatever life throws at you i guess that's exactly hopefully the main thing that we learned <laughs> out of this yeah so jerry where do you currently work how has your experience been and can you just tell us a little about your company and what you're currently working on Sure. So I am uh, currently working at a company. It's a startup. It's a young startup called Dine.Direct. Um, it is a business that helps uh, restaurants uh, survive the pandemic. So we're in that topic. So I think it's, it's uh, you know, uh, very uh, you know, applicable um, in this, you know, uh, time. Um, and essentially, we have a platform that we provide our, uh, our customers uh, to manage their own online delivery and takeout orders, um, you know, without relying on, you know, third party applications. So they would be able to control, uh, you know, the conversation with their customers, uh, take back control of their profits, uh, and, and most importantly, take back control of their brand. Um, my role in the business is uh, the head of people. So some organizations will call it a head of HR or head of human resource. Uh, but, you know, obviously in startups, you want to be sounding cool. <laughs> and at the same time, I think the, the focus of most organizations now is really people centricity, right? Um, yeah. So I manage, uh, you know, talent attraction, uh, talent development, and people operations for Dine.Direct. Uh, the experience um, with Dine Direct is um, it's a roller coaster. I think it is a you know very common experience for all startups and anyone who's actually working and building a startup. Uh, it's it's you know there's always going to be ups and downs. Uh, there's a lot of frustrations, uh, but there's also a lot of rewarding things, especially if you're seeing the product um, you know being used by customers and you're getting real customer feedback. Um, I, I think that's really really rewarding. Um, the business has grown. Um, you know, from 20 people to over 70 um, across eight countries wow. uh, in the last four months. So um, it's it's a uh, it's it's quite interesting to see that we are leveraging on the power of uh, you know the gig economy. Uh, we have a lot of um, I guess members of our community and members of our of our staff uh, situated in the Philippines. Uh, there are, you know our development team is based in Pakistan. We have people in Argentina, and our CEO is based in Mexico. Um, oh, you know, wow. Our CEO is uh, COO is based in um, in uh, in the Bay Area. Um, my myself is what a diverse very, team. <laughs> it is very diverse, and and I'm very proud to say that, you know, aside from you know the cultural, um, you know, background of individuals in Dynerect, um, you know, the gender diversity is quite high as well. We're you know close to fifty fifty, um, you know, at wow, this point, uh, which is which is pretty cool uh, and that's the that's a good thing about you know leveraging on on the on the power of the gig workforce right so you you would have yeah. you would have a lot of talent that you can tap right um yeah. you know instead of just you know going to that uh, you know sort of a normal route um and channel 
um, of hiring people. That's very true. That's very true. I think one thing that did that did good, that was good that came out of the pandemic specifically was um, the ability to remote hire. So distance, you don't really have to go to office every single day. But instead, you have such a diverse team where your talent team is based in Pakistan, your CEO is based in Mexico, which is something that's very important because a diverse team of individuals working mm. together has way more results as opposed to a team that comprises of very like-minded individuals so kudos to you to actually leveraging the pandemic and actually coming up with such a diverse and like equal team so very happy for you yeah it's um you know we're fully remote business um and and that's uh, you know obviously I, i won't sugarcoat there's a lot of you know you know, there's different, you know, pros and cons, right, uh, in yeah. having a, a remote workforce. Um, but I think, yeah. you know, the, the most important thing is that, you know, you stay engaged with, you know, your colleagues uh, and, and any members of your community. Constant communication is very important um, in having a clear and, and one goal in mind, um, you know, for you That's guys to operate true. as one. That's very true. And I think you guys have, because you're in a mission to actually help restaurants, you have a very clear vision regarding being very customer centric. So that translates into your workforce being much more productive. So you guys definitely have that. So that's working out well for you. Exactly. I think it's a good it's a good point that you highlighted about the mission yeah. because I think one of um you know one of one of the reasons why you know we're we're successful in attracting people at Dine That Direct is that we have a clear vision. It's it's all about restaurants and helping them yeah. survive, right? Um, and a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of uh, restaurants don't have a choice. Um, you know, they use third party apps um, because they need to survive. Uh, yeah. But, you know, a lot of people don't know but they are being charged a lot. And I think there's a lot of literature online uh, and you could search how much they are being charged per order. Uh, and that's a lot. You know, for us, you know, the pricing that model that we have is very transparent to customers. We only charge, you know, 25 cents to a dollar per order. Right. Um, okay. and, and that is a big savings for all the restaurants out there. Right. And, and the good yeah. thing about having the clear mission and then positioning that in the market with your with your branding and employer branding is that you would be able to attract people, um, you know, from big corporates. Right. That so we have individuals who's coming from Apple. Um, you know, there we have individuals coming from Best Buy yeah. uh, and other large brands, um, you know, uh, and, and move to a startup like us. Right. Very small, okay. very young, less than a year old. That's true. That's true. I think as an like the work you guys doing is wonderful, especially during mm-hmm. such a time where people are struggling. So I think uh, for yeah. people wanting to make a difference, this would definitely be a place where they can actually come and feel good about themselves, knowing that they're getting out of bed for a yeah. bigger cause than themselves. So happy to hear that. Exactly. Uh, and one thing, as an I, one last thing that I'd love to hear from you is you've had quite an experience with recruitment, especially when you were in Singapore and mm-hmm. Malaysia, and now you're also working with talent when you're in the U.S. So what's one thing, according to you, that's something that's yeah. very important for job applicants who are applying to jobs that could really make themselves make them stand out when they're actually applying to jobs, whether it's their resume, whether it's their cover letter, what's something that they should really work on, according to you? Sure. I mean, there, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of, um, I guess, suggestions I can yeah. provide, you know, uh, a job seeker, I mean, from resume, you know, from LinkedIn profile and, and you know, the strategy and tactics and techniques on, on how to apply. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think what, one thing that is, is very, 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 very important uh, for any job seeker out there is to really be clear about how do you want to position yourself. Right. Uh, it's, it's all about personal branding. OK. Um, you know, one of the things, and I'll you know share a little bit of story wh- how I ended up with Dine Direct, right? So the employer branding is very important. Okay, um, sorry, not not employer branding. Personal branding is important. Although employer branding is important, <laughs> thought, but personal branding from a candidate point of view is very important because it actually sets the tone of of your plan. It sets where you will go uh, and how you would actually apply for jobs. So my my short story on uh, how I landed with Dine Direct is that. Um, a, I was I was at Hall at business school, um, and you know we had a session about employer branding, and it actually, you know, dawned on me about you know my background. I have a very diverse background, but my last ten years is all about HR and recruitment. Okay. So I I commit you know to ensure that everyone in in that cohort in MBA would know that I'm from HR, 
right? I have expertise in HR. I've done HR recruitment, talent, etc. Right? Consistently, um, and then that's how I position myself. It's very clear. Um, and interestingly, after we graduated, I was uh, in uh, you know Santa Monica Beach, um, enjoying <laughs> enjoying my graduation with the family. Um, a co- um, an ex classmate of mine who's also our current CEO, uh, Julie Campbell, uh, called me and texted me, "Hey, dear, I have an HR question. I know that this is your you know this is your stuff. Um, you know why don't you you know why don't we set up a call?" So I called her up and say, "Hey, um, so what do you need?" So I gave an advice. You know, probably lasted for you know around 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then that was, uh, you know, followed with another advice and another advice and a longer conversation. And lo and behold, uh, they said, oh, Jerry, why don't you uh, execute the, you know, the plan that you have in mind uh, and come work for us? And then that, that's how it happened, right? Um, it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing very grand. Uh, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, having individuals know what you want to do um, and, and build that credibility um, around you. Um, but yeah, so going back to your topic on, um, you know, what's my advice, it's, it's really understanding, you know, what value you can bring, you know, to the company or to other people around you, right? Um, you know, how do you want, you know, people to feel uh, when they are interacting with you? You know, what sort of um, expertise or skills do you want to be known for? Um, because those, those, those things are, are very important and, and will be, you know, the centerpiece of your planning for job search. That makes sense. So you've heard it from Jerry, personal branding and making sure how you're consistent with your image when you're actually presenting yourself for a job is something that's very important. So making sure that your resume, your cover letter, your LinkedIn profile, they're all consistent and they actually show what you stand for is something that's very important today. Thank you so much for being a guest on our show today, Jerry. It was a pleasure having you and learning so much from you. No worries. This is your host. This is your host, Manal Bukhari, signing off. And I'll be back next week with a new guest. Thank you so much. Thank you.